Good morning. It is Wednesday, December 9th. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Merry Christmas. We're in the middle of what is the Christmas season, so I hope that you guys are finding yourselves some opportunities to celebrate the arrival of the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm currently working my way through an Advent book from Paul David Tripp called Come Let Us Adore Him. And today's reading specifically is about the shepherds coming to worship the Prince of Peace. And when I think of the world that we're in right now with everything that's going on around us, peace wouldn't be a word that I would use to describe our current world and our current situation. I would use words like anxiety, stress, fear, but I wouldn't necessarily use the word peace. Reading um, what Paul David Tripp had to say today, though, was an encouragement to me about that in spite of the fact that the world that we live in is full of sin and brokenness, um, the fact that God sent Jesus Christ here as a baby to be the Prince of Peace. He had many roles while he was here, but his main job was to rescue the world and provide the peace that was going to be missing based on the fact that sin had entered the world back in the Garden of Eden. You see, Adam and Eve had this perfect world. Their world didn't have things going on like pandemics and sicknesses and all of the sin and brokenness that we are experiencing today. Their world was perfect. And yet in spite of that, they still chose to sin and do exactly what God had asked them not to do. And then they have this embarrassing moment and this awkwardness between them and God when God suddenly realized that there was no joy coming from them to have conversation with him. God wanted to have his daily conversation with Adam and Eve and they had gone to hide themselves because they knew that there was this thing between them and God. They recognized this awkwardness that existed because they had disobeyed God. The encouragement that I have for you though is that in spite of that and in spite of the world that we're living in right now being full of all of these things, we still can have peace in knowing that God sent his son Jesus to be born as a baby and to be here to go to the cross for yours and my sins so that there could be peace again between us and God. The sins that we commit and the things that keep us from having a good relationship with God can be taken care of by repenting of those sins, by taking care of that business between us and God, and then Jesus provides the peace that is the missing key between us and God. So my encouragement for you is that in spite of what's going on in the world, look for those places for there to be peace in your life. Have conversation with God. Put your worship music on. Dive into the Word of God. Spend some time praying, having conversation with Him. He wants to hear from you. He sent His Son to provide the peace that He knew you and I couldn't have without having that relationship with Jesus. I hope that's an encouragement to you. I um, pray that you have opportunities this week to not only look for that peace in your own life, but to maybe help somebody else find theirs by developing a relationship with Jesus themselves. Have a great week.